Hey interwebs, it's Tethys, and welcome back to the Resident Evil HD Remaster. Last episode, we ended up draining out the Aqua Ring after much uh, freakout on my part, and got rid of all those, hopefully, all of those sharks. So now we are poking around in the areas that we managed to drain. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there's one of the sharks, and I'm hoping it's dead and not going to... That was an interesting attempt at a jump scare. Oh yeah, you, you're you friggin... Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? Sucks when you can't do anything. Asshole. There's the big one. He is still alive. We're not going near him. Can't really do anything. Okay, let's run back here and quickly double check this area because it was telling me that there's still items. Oh, nope. Is there anything? Materials are labeled dynamite, they're soaked beyond use. Oh, shotgun shells. Yes, I will take those. Do I have everything? Yes, I do. So, we're gonna combine these. And... There's a door... Here. So let's pop out through here. And see what's there. Ooh! What's this? Magnum rounds. Oh, awesome. So I guess that means that we, yes, we can go use the Magnum for more than, you know, one thing of it. What's up here? I really like the music for, uh, for these rooms that they're doing. I unlocked it! Yay! Because the boxes sure ain't gonna work anymore. So... Uh, I'm debating whether or not I should go grab the Magnum, but I think for now we're alright. We'll just stick with our shotgun and handgun. And we still have an empty space in our inventory, so I don't think we need to worry too much. I go past this? No, I can't. Okay. Good to know. Okay, so we've either got the aqua ring upstairs or this area, which doesn't really go anywhere. But I think. I'm thinking that we still need to get something important. I'm hoping it's important, or else I'm going to be upset that I'm wasting time. Alright, you're just going to flop. Yeah, you flop. You flop. Everybody do the flop. Are you... You're still alive, right? Pretty sure you're still alive. Please don't be alive. Please just be dead. That'd be wonderful. Can I... Why? Why? Oh, there we go. I was about to be... Im... What's this? It doesn't have power. The generator unit for the water flow. Yes, I will. And probably wake it up. This thing looks like it could electrocute you. Hmm. There's still something here. Oh! <gasps> oh, you bugger! Well, 
Well, I have to go down. Or not. Oops. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. I went back and got all of my weapons. I also went and killed that spider that was sitting in the parlor or whatever. Just so that we didn't have to deal with him later. And I also saved. So let's hope this guy doesn't try any funny business. We can't go back in the water when he's there. So there must be something I can do up here. So pull that down. And then he scares the crap out of us. And then he's just waiting to eat us. If only there was some way to drop it into the water. Finally! <laughs> some way. Yes, I will. So that shuts it off. And then... Get fucked. Deep Sixth. Ah, I got an achievement for that. <laughs> Must be for killing him. Right, now what do we have here? The residence key for the gallery. Alright. Let's get out of here. Yep, you just flop. You keep flopping. Okay. I think... Still saying there's an item here, so... Oh, right. Right, 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 right. Forgot that we had the other shotgun rounds in here. We'll come back for those later if we need them. Because right now, I don't think we do. Because we are loaded with ammo and, and guns and everything, so I think we are perfectly fine with what we have. So, what are we going to find in the gallery, then? Interesting. <laughs> Trying to fill the silence while we walk our asses there. Alright. Now we got the bees out here, so we have to be quick. Running, running, running to the gallery. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Thank you. Okay, so there's... Pistol ammo. And bees. Hit! Off me! Ah! You're gonna stay dead, right? Yeah. Let's just step on you so that you stay that way. Oh, the beehive is here! I forgot about that. What's this? Yes, I will. Where's the beehive? There it is. Ah, uh, no! Too dangerous to go any further. Oh, I know what we can do. No, don't go to the bees, Chris. They only want to kill you. I 
think we can go to the hole in the wall and pump the insecticide in there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Oh, they are not happy with me. Alright, good. Don't need to deal with those bees no mo. At least here. Now, is there something in the beehive? Yes! The residence key. Alright. So there's that. Oh, he did not die peacefully. Oh my god. That's awful. Alright, so we got that. And let's... How much ammo do I have left? None, actually. So let's get that picked up. And then combine those. Now let's see if that... No, okay, there's still stuff in here I can grab. But what? Um, I think those lamps in the parlor might have something to do with that door, the door's code. Wait. There's a typewriter in here. What's that noise? Moths? What the hell? A giant plant is crushing the wall. A swarm of angry moths surround it. Old fashioned, but high quality bed. I wouldn't say it's high quality anymore. Okay, so we've got a typewriter room here. Um, anything in here? No. Oh, there's books here, though. Ah, ha, ha! Now I know what you're for. Similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We've given UMB tw number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within 5 seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to be generating toxic gases if mishandled. The characteristics of each UMB chemicals are as followed. UMB number 3 is red, yellow 6 is yellow, UMB number 20, or number 7 is green, 10 is orange, VP017 is blue, and VJOLT is dark brown. Okay, so I have a feeling that's what we're going to need later for that plant that's in the basement. I didn't want to do that. These controls mess me up somewhat. Some Something fierce. I think that's probably my biggest sticking point with this game. It's been pretty entertaining all through right now. However, the controls are a definite pain in the ass. And I can't imagine they were any better on the PlayStation when they first came out. Uh, full of dirty water. Full of blood. Yes. I imagine that's what was um, feeding the plant. There's nothing in here. Nothing collectible, anyway. 
Umbrella brand. Of course they are. Because umbrellas in everything! Okay, well, I don't think there's anything else we can do in here. And there's still an item in here. Oh, there's a door here. Oh, that's the other item. But I can't pick it up anyway. Oh, wait, yes I can. Can I go through here? It's blocked from the other side. Okay, well... I think we'll end it here today, so thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment in the comment section below, probably telling me about what other kind of games you want to see me playing once Resident Evil finishes. Uh, I'm hoping that when I finish this, it won't be too long until Resident Evil 2 HD comes out. So if you want me to play that, let me know. And remember to like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Bye! No! No, we don't want that! This is not the time! What? An oil pressure. There's no need to adjust the pressure. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Uh, what do I do?